The best time of the year is finally back. Brennan and I are here for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2019. Oh my god. All right, it's time for the grand reveal of the costumes. <laughs> and look at that. Who are you, Brennan? I'm Judy Hopps. You're Judy Hopps, which means, who could I be? <laughs> I'm Nick Wilde. <laughs> How do I look? You look good. Pretty good, right? Yeah. I even have a tail. Oh my goodness. Which Brennan's kind of uncomfortable about. Yeah. But I don't know. You have your carrot. I should have a tail, right? So here we are, Nick Wilde and Judy Hobbs. These are yeah. a couple of our favorite characters. You went with Farmer Judy, comparatively to what cop. people would normally do. Yeah. Yeah. Police Officer Judy. And I think it's kind of a cool look, honestly. Look at that. Very easy to do. And the hat. And then we both have wigs. So that's fun, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I have a tail. You do have a tail. So we're hopping on the ferry to take that over to Magic Kingdom, but I don't know if that's a good idea because right up there are Jack and Rose and also the door that they floated on after the Titanic sank, so I don't know if we're going to have that good of luck getting on another boat with them. So that sounds means we're about to pull in to dock right over here at the Magic Kingdom. Doesn't it feel amazing right now, Brennan? Just the weather is fantastic. There's a wonderful little breeze. So the party started about 15 minutes ago or so. So are you ready to go inside, take our pictures, and then just start hitting those street trails and riding those rides and seeing those shows and parades and fireworks? Yeah. And here we are, Brennan. We are at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It's kind of a long line. It might be a busy night tonight, but we are still planning to have an incredible time, right? Yay! So we just took some pictures in front of the train station. We're now inside. We have our wristbands. It's about 7.30, so it's a little bit later than we would have wanted to get here, but we're here. And so now we need to grab a times guide to figure out what grade we want to see when the fireworks are, what stage show that we want to see. We want to get as much candy as possible. We want to get some pictures on Main Street in front of the castle, and then we want to ride some rides and some cool Halloween overlays and experience those too, right? Yeah! So let's get inside. Let's go. <laughs> so this is the picture that we were going to get, but the line is moving super duper duper slow because it's a very popular photo op to get. So we're going to head into the party, kind of go over there, get our first bag of snacks because we already got a couple really good pictures, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can always come back to this later on tonight, but I do want to go to the castle and get a picture in front of the castle while it's still kind of light outside. And we're right off of Main Street, about to hop in line to grab our first bag of candy to get into the Halloween-y spirit, right? Halloween! And now we're about to pop back out into the hub of Magic Kingdom past Main Street. We got our first bag of candy in here. Yay! I love candy! Even though I've been to the dentist kind of a lot recently. So the sun is finally starting to set, but I think we have just enough daylight left to get some pictures in front of the castle, right? Yay! Yay! <laughs> and then after this, so I think the fireworks are gonna be at 10.15. We're gonna go to the second parade at 11 o'clock, and then we're gonna, <laughs> no, blah, blah, blah. and then we're gonna go to the midnight showing of the stage show. So we pretty much have from now until the fireworks to just kind of trick or treat and ride some rides, right? Okie dokie, so we are gonna head into Tomorrowland. We just took our pictures with the castle, right? Yeah. Yay! And I think we're just gonna go to the uh, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor for our first treat station and our first interactive activity. Interactive activity? This year, for the very first time, we can go into the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor and be told jokes when we trick or treat. It's kinda cool. So, this carrot that Brennan has is a dog squeak toy, and she's just squeaking it. It's so funny for like comedic silence. Trick or treat! Halloween. Yay, thank you! And now we go into the theater. And uh, they're not telling jokes. Whoops. <laughs> Awkward. Well, I'm pretty sure there would normally be a monster up on the stage telling jokes. So it was kind of cool. There was a surprise treat station at the end of the Monster Sing treat route. It was kind of cool. We decided to bypass the show for now just because it wasn't going on. We may come back to it later, but we'll see. What we do want to do right now is go over to Cosmic Rays and get dinner out of the way now. There's no shows going on, no parades or anything like that. Go and just eat dinner and then we can continue on with our trick-or-treating and our ride riding. We definitely want to ride Space Mountain in the dark over here. That's going on again. And then we do kind of new the, the teacup survey. They have like the new fun lights over there. Yeah. And we made it to Cosmic Rays. Hi, Brennan. Hi. And look at what we got. We have two what they're calling Lotso Burgers, which is a beef patty topped with brie fondue, strawberry bacon jam, onion rings, and a Lotso branded bun. I guess it's just one onion ring. And then I got this right over here. This is a berry blaster with cherry syrup, blue 
Curaco. Syrup. Oh, geez. And <laughs> Sprite. Garnished with a lemon, wheel, and raspberries. And I totally did not read that off my phone like an Android. Um, and then we got a Coke, too. So, got quite a spread here. This is gonna be really good. You see his face? <laughs> see how happy he is? He is happy. So, Brennan, it was a little bit awkward uh, sitting on my tail, but managed to make it work. <laughs> You got a great spot over by the window. I don't know if you can see the castle and like the reflective glass, but yeah. Okay, ready? It's all over your face. Are you happy you don't have a beard anymore? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good. It's like it's strawberries. A, yeah. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Isn't it awesome? I'm excited to try this. Yeah, that's really smooth. Just like cherry Sprite, almost. I'm excited to jump on those uh, raspberries. I do love myself some raspberries. Mm -hmm. So this is the Descend Dance party going on in Cosmic Rays. That's pretty cool, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go outside and we're gonna go hop on the teacups. And here we are, the Mad Tea Party with the Halloween overlay. This is a very popular addition to the party in recent years. Whoa! It is pretty bright. Yay, are you gonna spin us? We're spinning! Yeah, we did just eat. I'm nauseous! <laughs> Slow us down just a little bit. Um, after this, we're gonna go to Space Mountain. Space Mountain? Yep. Okay. So maybe not, maybe never mind. For now, it looks like Space Mountain is closed. What'd you do, did you break it? I guess so. It is Friday the 13th. <gasps> oh no. Happy birthday, me. Yeah, so it's Brennan's birthday, and it's also Friday the 13th, and it's also a full moon, um, and also, I'm having fun. <laughs> Surprise. So we came to the monstrous scream -a -ween ball dance party over in Tomorrowland next to Space Mountain. What are you doing to that poor carrot? There's Sully back there, there's Mike Wazowski. What do you want to do? Do you want to get some more candy? Yeah. Or should we hang out until Space Mountain opens? Look at this Mike Wazowski Oh, that's fun. And I love that the stage is decorated with the, uh, the canisters. <laughs> So our next stop is going to be over by the Carousel of Progress. He's still squeaking that. It's fun. <laughs> there's a little trick or treat station over here, and then there's lots of hugging bear over there. We just ate him for dinner. <laughs> so his line is a little bit long right now, but way over there is a lots of bear. Always wanted to get a picture with him. Maybe next time. So the Carousel of Progress actually gave us some applesauce uh, instead of some candy, which is still going to be pretty good. But I think we're going to go back into the laugh floor and get some more candy and maybe see if they're doing the show now. Got some more candy and now we're heading back into the theater again. And yay! They're telling jokes! I have a candy diet. It's true, I have a, I have a flat stomach. The, the L is silent. <laughs> Alright, do you want to get some more candy? Yeah. Oh, you're kind of blurry. Yay, some more candy! So we're doing pretty good. We have about half a bag now each, and this thing's getting kind of heavy. Yeah. And we've only been here for two hours. Hello! Alright, so we're back in the hub. As you can see, the parade is about to start in just about five minutes, so we're trying to cut across as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can. We're going to go to the second parade, which is going to be in about two hours or so. We're just trying to make it to the other side of the park before the parade comes. And here we are in Adventureland, making our way over to Jungle Cruise for some more candy. This line is non-existent, and Brennan, you can get in line as many times as you want. Maybe I'm quick. Okay, I'll try it over here. Candy? Yeah. 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 This is so exciting. Ah! Ah! I love you! <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Whoa! There you go. Generous. And we are getting more candy again, Brennan. Stop with the squeaky carrot. So the parade is still going on right now. And we're gonna hop in line right over here at the Diamond Horseshoe to get some more candy. There's so many walk-on candy locations right now. Whoa, there's nobody in here at all. 
right now. It's kind of weird. The parade is now officially over, and Britt in my bag is full to the brim. They were so much fun in there. The cast members tonight are killing it. So we have about 40 minutes until the fireworks start, so I think we're gonna come over here and ride Pirates of the Caribbean. If we have time, the parade did just dump, so it may be kind of a long line. So it looks like Pirates of the Caribbean has like about a 30 to 40 minute wait or so. It looks like everybody from the parade dump just got line for Pirates. So we're gonna hold off on that one for now. What we did do is we just put half of each of our bags of candy in Brennan's purse. So now, we have more room for more candy. For more candy. So let's get some more candy. Okay. Here you go. Trick or treat. Hi there. Thank you. Woo. So we're back in Liberty Square, and this is the line to get back inside the Diamond Horseshoe for candy. And we were just the only people in there like 10 minutes ago when the parade was still going on. So we got in there just in time, right? Yes. There's allergy free candy over here in Liberty Square. That's pretty cool. But we're heading to what? Algae free candy, if you're into that kind of a thing. Uh, but we're heading to the hub to find a spot for the fireworks, which start in about 20 minutes. Okay, so it is really, really busy over here. This is a very busy night at the Not So Scary Party. We've still had a really good time, and everybody's been nothing more than polite to us. So that's cool, but hopefully we can find a spot, right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So we have our spot for the fireworks. Brennan's down here hanging out. Hi, Brennan. Are you excited to watch the fireworks? Yeah. <laughs>
Well, it did start to rain at the end of the fireworks, but that did not dampen our experience. It was still a fun show, and it was... It's refreshing, actually. Because of the rain? Yeah. Yeah, tonight's been a little bit different. In it, Halloween parties past, it's always been so hot, muggy, and humid. Tonight's been kind of breezy, and then it just kind of rained a little bit. It stopped, and I hope it kind of stays away, because the break's about to come in about 20 minutes. We have our spot. We have a really good spot for it, so I hope they don't cancel it. I don't assume what they would. I feel like it's done, because like, I don't even see clouds anymore. Yeah. Like, they all went that way. You can see, I don't know what's behind us, but the, uh, the full moon? Can you see? Oh, there it is. Wait, wait. Is that the moon? Yeah. No, it's not. I don't know. The moon is back there somewhere. Is that it? Yeah. There it is. Okay. It, it's the full moon tonight. Uh, what did you think of the fireworks? I thought they were great, actually. Um, I was telling Roy, they were just like visually entrancing to the point where there was a couple times where I had zoned out because yeah. I was just so like caught up in all the different colors of fireworks. Like, I just a lot more... Busy of a storyline this time, comparatively to Hallowishes, I think. Hallowishes, I think, was a little bit more visually, pyrotechnically stunning. Yeah. I think, comparatively to this, there was a little bit more, like, projection mapping and that kind of thing. I thought it was fun. I don't know. I like new things at Disney, you know? And the Jack Skellington puppet was so cool. Couldn't really see it from that far away, and you definitely didn't see it. And I don't even think it came out when it started to rain at the end. But no. From when he came in at the beginning, it was really cool, and I'll definitely be watching other people's like videos up close of him doing that. But now it's time to watch the fire for the, the parade. The parade. The parade. So that was the finale of the Hocus Pocus villain spectacular, which they weren't able to perform because of the rain. So. They just did the finale of it, just the fireworks. With a glowing pumpkin to light the way, he's lurking to find his perfect prey. He's the bringer of Halloween fear. Beware, the headless horseman is here.
12 minutes before the party is officially over, I say we go through the monsters uh, candy trick-or-treating zone one more time, and then go to Space Mountain. Okay, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Yay, thank you. Woohoo! It's a little quiet in here now because the party's over in about five minutes. Trick-or-treat. Yay, thank you so much. Yeah, look at that. Almost full to the brim. And now I think we are heading to Space Mountain, right? Yeah, I just um, realized that we're gonna have our first candy bowl in our apartment together. Aww. So we made it to Space Mountain. The line kind of stretches all the way back to the launching pad, almost. So hopefully we get inside pretty quickly. So we made it to Space Mountain, but so did everybody else from the parade, probably. It's posted at a 20 minute wait, but I guess we'll see how long it takes to get inside and get on the ride. Yay, so we're inside. We're about to ride Space Mountain in the complete darkness. That only took a couple minutes to get inside. I think they were pulsing the line inside. Attention Space Mountain passengers. Okay, Brennan, this is it. We're in the front row, riding Space Mountain in the dark. Wow, that was pretty exhilarating. Just, I was just riding was Space Mountain fun. in the dark. I didn't film it because what's the point of that? But that was really scary. And we'll thrilling. give you a reenactment right now. Ah! That was great. Good reenactment. In the dark. So now we're heading out of the park. The yeah. party's over. It ended like half an hour ago. Yeah. So one thing that we did miss was the Hocus Pocus villain spectacular. But we have seen that before, and we wanted to do things that we either haven't done before or just things that we really wanted to do, right? Mm -hmm. And right here, this is where we watch the parade. Yeah. Right on this little corner of Main Street. Are you ready to head out of the park, Brennan? I am ready. 
Because you work tomorrow early. Quite early. I worked today, so we had to really split our schedule and have to make it work, but I am so glad that we did. I've always loved the lighting package on Main Street and how everything lights up to the music. The windows flicker, the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns and everything. It's just so cool. We didn't get a picture with the pumpkins over there, but the line is still pretty long for that. But we'll just have to make do with the ones that we got because we got some pretty good pictures. Good night, Magic Kingdom. Thank you so much for all the fun tonight. Really got me into the Halloween spirit. What about you? Yeah. So it is now 1 o'clock in the morning and we just made it back to the car in the parking lot. And it looks like there's a long line of cars just to get out of the Magic Kingdom parking lot, so we still have a ways to go to get back to the apartment. But Brennan, we had a good time tonight. Yeah. That was fun, and I'm glad we finally got to do it. We got to align our schedules just to be able to come out to do this. Mm -hmm. And it was worth it. It was really busy. It might have been a sold out night or very close to it because it was packed tonight. It was very busy. <laughs> we made it work. The only things that we didn't get to do were the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean experience, uh -huh. and then we didn't get to watch the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular, Spelltacular, yeah. but other than that, we got to do everything that we wanted to do. We even got to hop on Space Mountain at the very, very end of the night. That was probably one of my highlights for the evening. Yeah. I think yours was the fireworks. I love said? the fireworks. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think this is probably going to be our only trip to do this. I know that they have the, like, annual pass that you can buy to come to the parties, but these are the kinds of things for us that we like to kind of keep special just yeah. to go to once a year. And I'm glad that we got to dress up as Nick and Judy from... Zootopia. I think I still have my ears. Yes, I yeah. do. And my tail <laughs> back here somewhere. But we are ready to get in the car and take these wigs off because yeah. it is hot. <laughs> I don't know. Any lasting thoughts or opinions on the night of the experience? No, I had a great time. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us and starting the Halloween season as far as we're concerned, even though this has been going on for a month. Mm -hmm. But uh, I appreciate you for watching. Have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.